We're just at the beginning of Lent 2021, again, a very strange time. And we have six weeks through until Holy Week and Easter Sunday. And rather than just seeing each Sunday as a particular little block, a little particular gospel that we're asked to reflect on, I think it's useful to realise there's a whole building up of a whole structure of teaching. And the first Sunday, Sunday the 21st of February this year, the first Sunday of Lent, always has the gospel of the temptations of Jesus. And that gives us a chance to look at the bigger picture of temptations. Yes, Jesus tempted to sell short the mission that he has, but for all of us to reflect on what temptation means to us, the fear of taking on something substantial in terms of penance or prayer or generosity. I couldn't do that. That would be too much. I'm too old for that. I'm too young for that or whatever. And also that reality of temptation. Temptation is always personal. That's why the tempter is always portrayed as an individual, as a person speaking to us. So I hope that the first Sunday of Lent, this coming Sunday, whether you're with us in the cathedral or in your own parish church, wherever you are around the country, or around the world, I hope it gives all of us a chance to reflect at the beginning of Lent, at the beginning of this journey, to reflect on the reality of temptation, how God calls us to be great in the power of Jesus' risen grace and how we can so often sell ourselves short right from the time of Adam and Eve. So I look forward to being nourished by the word of God this Sunday. I hope it's a time of prayer and nourishment and of teaching and learning for you as well. Make this Lenten journey a good one by celebrating well the first Sunday of Lent this year. God bless you on your Lenten journey.